Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the great new features of Computer Cut Pro that give you the ability to import images, vectorize them, and then cut them in vinyl for signs. The first thing you want to do is open up the Computer Cut program and then go to File cut window and it brings you into the cut window where you can work from. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and import the design or picture that you want to vectorize or trace. And basically what you're doing is you are kind of like taking tracing paper and putting it over the top of a design and tracing it. So we'll go ahead and start off with a simple image. Go to File, Import. And as you can see down here, you have literally many, many different file formats in which you can import. The first one we're going to import is a simple black and white image here, this dog head. And it's a JPEG, .jpg. And we'll import it. into the cut window. There it is there and we'll zoom into it. So this image is what they call a bitmap image or a pixelated image. It's If you were to download uh, an image off of the internet it would probably be a uh, bitmap image. It's kind of like when you use your camera and take a picture the picture is a bunch of little dots in it and that's what gives you your color and what you have to do is you have to trace that or what we call vectorize that and turn it from a bitmap into what we call a line art image and computer cut has a superb vectorization function in it that makes it extremely easy to convert these files so we have this picture of the dog here and what we're going to do is just double click on it and that brings up the bitmap editing toolbar here and right here is the vectorization so we'll click on it and it tells us that the bitmap needs to be posterized and basically it means to simplify the image or to define the differences between black and white or or different types of color. So we'll click OK and then go back up here and we will run the vectorization wizard which will posterize it. We'll click yes and click OK and as you can see it kind of defined the edges a little bit more and made the black a little bit darker. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And it brings up a window showing the old image and the new one. And here you would select the colors that you want to show. So. Uh, because we only have a black and white image, all we need is one color here. So we'll click OK. And it's now vectorizing it or creating a line art image. And we'll click OK. And then we'll go over here and hit select and move this over. And there is the vectorized image. So we'll go ahead and ungroup this. And then once you vectorize an image, you might want to go in. This is, uh, this is pretty good. Probably wouldn't need too much cleaning up um, of the uh, images. Let's say you wanted to smooth these out or whatever. So uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of our bitmap here. 
and then what we need to do is we need to convert these lines to what we call Bezier lines. So I'll hit Control A and go back up here and go to Arrange and Convert to Bezier. And then we will need to bring in the path, basically the path edit tools that we have in Computer Cut to edit the different patterns and then we would use those to smooth this out so we could click on the outside here and it turns it into a path and then we would use the same tools that we use to edit the path in the computer cut patterns to clean up the image that we have vectorized so there's a quick example of a black and white image let's go ahead and delete that a and delete and now we're going to pull up a little bit more involved image so we'll go to file and import and this is an image that we brought in over the internet this is a PNG file we'll click on that and import it into computer cut now you want to try and find a an image that is uh, of good quality this is fairly good quality and again what we're going to have to do in order to trace it is to double click on it and then it's if we click on vectorization it's probably going to tell us we need to posterize it yes we do okay so we'll go click on here and prepare the wizard click OK and then it's you, as you can see, it cleaned it up fairly quickly, sharpened those edges, smoothed them out, and we'll click OK. And again, as you can see, it pulls it into the uh, posterization window here. And because there is no black here, the, the uh, color will not show up here. So what you need to do is to select the different shades and different colors in here to be able to vectorize them. So we'll leave this one selected and let's the, the most obvious one is here the green so we'll click on that and as you can see it pulls in all of the green right here. The second one is this yellow one right here so we need to go down to the second color and then click on that second color and it pulls in all of those colors and let's see a third color is probably this orange color so we'll go down here and click on here and it pulls in all of the colors that are similar to that and then a fourth color that we see is this one right here so we'll go down here and click on number four and click here and as you can see, it's about as close as you're going to get it to the original design right here. So now we'll just go and click OK. And it's going to posterize it. And we'll click OK. And we'll move this bitmap out away from it here. And there you have it, all in the different colors. And then again, what you would do would be to ungroup this. And we'll get rid of the mask around it here. And then go in and clean it up however you want to do it. It's a little bit involved for uh, doing um, uh, vinyl, so you might want to remove a bunch of this. And then also, again, you would probably, if you wanted to, we'll get rid of this bitmap here. If you wanted to clean it up, again, you would hit Control A and go over here and convert it to a Bezier. And then again, click on the sections that you might want to clean up and use the path edit feature to clean the, uh, the edges up. So there you have it, a quick demonstration of how to import an image 
and vectorize it so that you can create your own signs and designs. With the Computer Cut Pro, it opens up the whole new world of doing signs and graphics for vehicles, and you can do it all within the Computer Cut program. The thing to remember, though, when you're doing a design is to try to get the best quality image that you can possibly get because when you get a good quality image you'll be able to vectorize it or trace it a lot better than any image that is not of good quality. If you have any problems with vectorization or creating a image you still have the availability of our professional graphic artists. You can email them to graphics at computercut.com or you can go to the main window and go to help and submit graphic and you can submit the graphic to our professional graphic artists but with the new computer cut it makes it easy for you to do it all yourself